Hi, my name is Matt Cullenmeyer, and this is a tool that I developed as a financial analyst for a network of charter schools. What I'm going to show in this video is an automated self-service financial reporting platform in Microsoft Access. This particular tool was created in response to a com common problem that our school directors were facing. Whenever I or a finance member met with a director to review his or her financial statements, that director would invariably ask, what are the accounting transactions that make up this or that particular line? We would then have to spend several minutes digging through the general ledger in our accounting system to come up with an answer, and this was, of course, a waste of everyone's time. Directors also wanted access to this kind of information in general so that they could track their revenues and expenditures in real time. The way this tool worked was quite simple. School directors would open this database file from a shared network drive and select their school. They would then have a number of modules to choose from. Budget detail gave the underlying transaction detail by budget line, for example, student activities. They would then enter a password unique to that module and unique to that school. They could even adjust the parameters of the date range. On searching, they would then get a report that listed all the transactions for that budget line, including effective date, transaction description, the vendor, and the amount. At the top was the sum, and this would correspond with the amount that they would see on their income statement, assuming the date range is matched, of course. Schools would also receive a lot of restricted funding that they needed to track, typically in the form of government revenue or grants. The restricted funding module provided detail on how much revenue had been received, as well as how much had been expensed. So in this case, revenue in the form of credits or negative signs and offsetting expenses. A balance of zero in this case would indicate that all the funding had been spent. Schools would also have agency funds, which were student clubs or sports that collected money for certain activities. For example, boys basketball. Boys basketball would make deposits for money that they raised and then have offsetting expenses and this module allowed anyone to quickly see what the balance was for a particular fund. There were also specific modules for athletic directors and front office managers. The way all of this worked was through a connection to a Microsoft SQL server where all of our accounting records were stored. This was not a live connection, but the reporting platform did query data from an extract that I refreshed each, each morning. Since I already had an established connection, I simply deleted the existing table, and then ran a saved import. And now it's updated. This concludes a brief overview of the custom-made financial reporting platform in Microsoft Access.